picks. You played like trash. You've got all those weapons on offense. Godwin, Evans, Gronk, you activated AB. You've got Leonard Fournette. And you come up with three points on offense against the Saints. Oh, my God, Brady, you are trash. You played like trash tonight. Breeze owned you. Oh, man. What a game. What a performance. It was night and day. Brady played like garbage. All he could do was turn the ball over. If this was going to be the case, you might as well keep Jameis. Jameis is going to throw three picks. But he also going to give you like four touchdowns. Brady gave you the three picks and no touchdowns. This was pathetic. The Saints came out here and showed the world they still own the NFC South. And that's not changing anytime soon. Go ahead. Take the knee, Jameis. Take the knee. The game is over. Oh, my God. This Bucks offense was pathetic today. They couldn't move the ball to save their life. They've got all those weapons. Look at this. Drew Brees, 26 of 32, 222 yards. Four touchdowns and a passer rating of 135. Brady, 22 of 38, 209 yards, zero touchdowns, three interceptions, and a passer rating of 40. Oh, my God. It wasn't even close. Brees outclassed Brady tonight. Brady looked old, and he looked like trash. Brees looked revived, rejuvenated. He's ready to go. He was on target, man. Hidden Emmanuel said he was hitting his guys all day. Making play after play after play. Breeze might have to be the play of the week because he came out here and he carved up that buck secondary. Carved it up. Oh, man. I don't even have a proper recap for this game because this is just funny. If we were to try and give an actual recap, offensively for the Saints, they could not be stopped. Breeze pinpoint accuracy. The run game with Kamara and the crew, they were doing their thing. They were running the ball on this Bucks team. Even though the Bucks run defense is good, they were running the ball on them. Secondary to Bucks couldn't stop anything. In the passing game for the Saints, on target, receivers were doing their thing. Michael Thomas even got involved. Emmanuel Sanders caught himself a touchdown. Just everybody was on target and playing well and executing well. There was a fumble by the offense because they managed to strip fumble. Um, Breeze, that was the only turn that happened, so that was really the only mistake. But for the most part, it was good. The only person who did not play well today was Cook. Cook fumbled in the red zone and then dropped the pass that would have given him the first down. I mean, Cook was just terrible out here. He didn't. He was the only Saints player on offense who didn't show up. Matter of fact, he was the only Saints player that didn't show up today. He was trash. Man, step it up, Cook. You can't be playing like this. He's going to fumble the ball at the goal line. And then he's going to drop a passes in your hand for the first down. Step your game up, Cook. But other than that, man, the Saints offense was beautiful. Could not be stopped. Saints defense, oh, man, they stomped Brady today. They stomped him. They pissed all over him. Three picks. They forced three picks on this man. They tortured him. They put Brady in a torture chamber, and they did not let him out. I don't think Mike Evans got a catch. Lattimore shut down Mike Evans. Oh, my God. He shut him down. The man didn't get a, a single catch. Antonio Brown, he had like two catches. But knowing Antonio Brown, what's he going to do? Obviously, he's going to celebrate on those two catches. Like, bro, your team down by over 30 points, and you over here celebrating because you got a catch. Get yourself back in the lineup. What you doing? What you doing, A.B.? Classic A.B. Celebrating a, a first down catch when your team down by 30 points. Sad. But, yeah, that, that Saints defense. Woo! That Saints defense. They put the whooping on them. The moment I knew it was over was that goal line stand. The Saints, sorry, the Saints, the Bucks defense managed to force a fumble on Drew Brees and gives the Bucks perfect field possession. They get down to the goal line, have four opportunities to get in, and they couldn't. With all those weapons on offense, they couldn't score a touchdown. Four downs, zero points. The Saints defense held. Fantastic job. 
They did their job. They did not give up anything. The only thing they gave up was a field goal. But you know what? I don't even count that field goal. As far as I'm concerned, the Saints shut out the Bucks. The Bucks didn't score anything, in my opinion. Those three points don't count. I don't really care about them. But man, oh man, oh, this was fun. The Saints showed the world. They showed everybody they still run the South. You want to look at Brady and the Bucks and look at all that talent? That's great. That's cute. They got all that talent. But we still run the South. Breeze still runs the NFC South. This isn't the AFC East anymore, Brady. You're not getting the Jets and the Dolphins and the Bills before they were actually good. You're getting a legit team. You're getting Drew Brees, and you're getting the Saints. They are a legit team. You can't just breeze your way to easy wins now, Brady. You're going to have to earn them, and you sure didn't earn them today. You looked worse than Winston. Winston would not have come out here and put up three points. Winston, if he throws three interceptions, he's giving you three touchdowns, at least. You couldn't even do that. You looked old. You looked washed. You looked confused. You looked frustrated. Why didn't anyone yell at Brady? Hmm? Why wasn't anybody yelling at Brady at the sideline? Anytime no one wants to play, Brady wants to get in their face and yell. Why didn't the coach get in Brady's face and tell him to step up? Huh? Why wasn't anybody yelling at Brady's face? It's okay for Tom Brady to yell at people, but no one should yell at him? Nonsense. Someone, he, matter of fact, he should go in the locker room and yell at Amir right now. Yell at himself for playing like garbage because he played like trash. Speaking of that, let's get into this Bucks offense. Offensive line was terrible. Couldn't really protect Brady for much of this game. They did not play well at all. Running game couldn't really get anything going for the most part. Saints defense locked that down too. So good on the Saints defense, but yeah, couldn't get anything going. And in the passing game, shoo, Tom Brady. Oh my God, Jameis out here on Sunday Night Football eating W's. <laughs> this is funny. This is funny because they're interviewing Breeze right now and Jameis is going to pass by. I'm like, I got the W. You go ahead and eat that W, James. You go ahead and eat that W. I know this one means something to you because this was against your old team. But you go ahead and eat that W. Your team deserve it. They smashed these fools. But yeah, the passing game, nothing special. Brady just trying to force the ball down the field, making mistakes, throwing terrible picks. I mean, that second pick. The first one was tipped. It wasn't, first of all, it was going to be an incompletion, but it was just a bad pass and Brady got tipped. And it just got picked off. It happens. But the second pick, he just forced that down to Antonio Brown, trying to force that pass. Easy pick for the defender. And the third one, he throws this ball across the middle. Getting pressured, throws it across the middle. Easy pick for the Saints. I mean, that was one of the worst picks I've seen Brady throw all season. He was pathetic. He looked pathetic. The offense played pathetic. And they deserve to get smashed like this. Whew. Now, the Saints defense. Saints defense. The Bucks defense. Oh, man. They could not stop a nosebleed tonight. They couldn't stop a nosebleed from the first drive of the game. We already knew the Saints had complete control. Brady and the Bucks go three and out. Drew Brees and the Saints march down the field and score a touchdown. Are you kidding me? I mean, honestly, the score should have been bigger than it was. But because of the whole fumble at the goal line by Cook... They lost seven points that they were going to get because the Bucks defense could not make a single stop. Every drive, Drew Brees and the offense are just marching down the field with ease. Oh, my God, they're marching down the field with ease. Couldn't be stopped. And when they put in Taysom Hill for a couple plays, he couldn't be stopped. He had a passing play. Got it easy. Easy peasy. Easy first down. He ran on them a couple times for a couple first downs. Couldn't stop Taysom Hill at all. Couldn't stop the run game. Couldn't stop the pass game. Bucks defense couldn't do anything right today. They were pathetic. They were sad. They were embarrassing. And it was funny to watch. Overall, the Saints absolutely decimated. They just decimated the Bucks and made them look pathetic. So with this win, the Bucks will fall to 6-3 and because they have yet to have their bye week. They don't have that, I think, until December. So it's still wild for them. I don't know. No, not maybe maybe later down the road. I don't know when they have their bye week. It's it's gonna be wild for that. As for the um the Saints, they go up to six and two because they did have their bye week. And now they have first place in the NFC South, and they have completely swept the Bucks this season. The Bucks cannot compete with the Saints, and they showed that. 
man, they had all these weapons, and they really, they really looked like they were going to be something dangerous. And everybody was waiting for this matchup. This was a chance to show that this Bucks team is not the same Bucks team as before. They can compete with the Saints. The Saints said, nah, y'all still the same. Even with this old, washed-up Brady, y'all still the same. And Brady's been playing fine this season, but against the Bucks, no, no match. No match. Pathetic. Embarrassing. Disgraceful. Just plain old sad. And that's just how it came to be. So, with the Saints back in first place, and with solid control of the NFC South, because now they have the tiebreaker over the, um, the Bucks cause, since they swept them this season. I don't see how the Bucks are going to get this division over them, especially because when you look at the schedule coming up for the Bucks and then the schedule coming up for the Saints, the schedule for the Saints favors the Saints to win most of those games. As for the Bucks, it ain't looking so good. All you need to know is, is in a couple weeks, they're facing off against Kansas City. Good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. Anyway, that's all I got. Breeze embarrassed Brady and the Saints. It was just a joy to watch. And now, Brady's. Breeze embarrassed Brady and the Bucks, And it was beautiful to see. Jeez, man, I'm too happy right now. I'm not even focused. But yeah, it was fun to see. Wish this was actually a competitive game, but it was a good laugh. I like laughing at Brady when he fails on the football field, so it is what it is. Anyway, that's all I got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.